What is up my dudes and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be featuring the A6M3 Mod 22, battle rating 4.3, rank 3 Japanese carrier based fighter. Let me go ahead and get that off x-ray, that'll be later on. So I chose the A6M3 Mod 22 because I've been wanting to do Zero for some time and honestly I, I was torn between doing an earlier Model 1 or a later Model 1. But I honestly decided to just split it right down the middle. And I think I picked, honestly, as dead of the pack as you can get. Because here's where we're at. And you still got the A6M5. And then you got the later model A6M5s as well. But preceding this, you got the A6M2s and the base model A6M3. So yeah, pretty, pretty middle of the pack. And it's also a pretty good BR as well. I think 4-3 is a very solid battle rating because that's where a lot of people and a lot of planes start to develop their skills and play styles. And what I mean by that is there's more purpose dedicated, you know, planes at this BR and the skill cap is a little bit higher to accompany that as well. Now, I picked the Zero because a lot of people, and I, I kind of go to the War Thunder Reddit a lot. Now, keep in mind, this is not, um, these are not, you know, smart people, people with massive brains. These, these people are, are not your sharpest tool in the shed, and that's okay. But I see them complaining about Zeros a lot. And honestly, I mean, fair enough, valid, some of their points are valid, they're acrobatic as hell um but really that's about it i mean the guns are okay the engine's kind of trash um it can't take a hit but there's people just insist on turn fighting with the zeros and that's not what you do um i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys know on a on a major secret if you guys are in a russian british german or american plane and you are fighting a zero if they do their little loop-de-loop -loop bullshit that they do, run away. Just run away and reset. That's all you have to do. Don't commit once they've already turned because it's too late. You have to get them in the first pass or while they're in the middle of doing their loop-de-loop -loop turns and trying to avoid your fire. Because once they're on your tail, they can just sit there. Don't, just don't do anything else. Just disengage and reset that's all you have to do and that's all you need to do to to really negate all of the zeros advantages because it really doesn't have any especially once you get to the later model zeros you know at 4-0, 4-3, you know it the the advantages are gone i mean just just to prove it to you the engine uh, at 4-3 pushes less than 1200 horsepower now, let me go to the BF-109 G2 Trop, one of my other favorite 4.3 planes in this game. 1422. 1422 horsepower. So that's, that's a big difference. That's about 250 horsepower difference. And you really do notice it. And it... The guns, they're okay. Yeah, they're Type 99 Mark I cannons and Type 97 machine guns. You know, they're feather dusters. And low velocity 20 millimeter cannons with only 100 rounds per gun. So you're going to want to be pretty up close and personal with your shooting to get consistent and accurate hits. Um, you don't want to do head-ons in a zero. That's not what it's built for. It's purely defensive dogfighting, turn fighting. That's how you win. And that's how the Americans lose. Because they insist on playing to this plane's strengths. And that's why these planes are so high in the tech tree now because they they didn't used to be this high and i feel like they don't deserve to be this high but the uh the battle ratings are inflated because people don't know how to play the damn game basically um i've already touched on the guns you know they're okay touched on the engine um and like I said, there's only one play style for the Zero. You're not an energy fighter. Your wings will rip at about 380 miles an hour. So yeah, no no energy fighting or very limited energy fighting with the Zero. But um, before I jump into the games, I just want to say Twitch and Discord links in the description below. In-game squadron on screen for those of you who are interested. And without further ado, let's get right into it. 
Alrighty, we are here on Sinai against the Americans and the Germans, and I believe we're in a 4.7 game. Now, we're up at 13,000 feet, but we are extremely slow because, like I said in the beginning, this plane is quite underpowered. Uh, pretty weak engine, so, you know, we, we just gotta do with what we got. <laughs> Hopefully, um, we don't catch any of these 50 caliber rounds to any part of me because that would be uh bad that would be extremely bad <laughs> well uh year two got got by the bf 110 and we are still so far away oh my goodness go you little engine okay this i-185 is in trouble i'm gonna see if i can't assist Let's see if I can move to assist this I-185. We got a P-63, P-51, multiple P-51s. Oh, uh, well, this is ill-advised. Lots of P-51s. All right, let's just do it. Let's do it. I gotta help this guy. Alright, nothing. Alright, well. He has no hope of even turning with me. What are you gonna do there? Alright, yep. Run away. Uh, I, I'm forced into really just playing to their, their weaknesses, really. Got another one coming in from about 7 o'clock. Alright, where'd that other one go? Where are my rounds going? Good gravy. That's what I want to know. My bullets, no idea where they were going. Alright, we got ourselves AP-51. Okay, who's next? Who's next? I should probably turn back around and go this way. There's more guys this way. Got ourselves a P-51. Going head on. Oh, he's right there. I was like, where the hell is he at? But it's just a bot. Don't catch bullets from the bots, please. Alright, come here, P-51. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna get you. Jeff and the cow, eh? Interesting. Interesting choice of maneuvers right there, buddy. Man, where... Where's their team? They're actually all kind of spread out. I'm in impressed. I am. Got ourselves a P-51 right above us, but he's not diving. Alright, we got ourselves a P-51 over this way. Let's go this way. Let's kind of just follow these guys around. KI-44 and an I-185 chasing the P-51. What are you doing? He's going for this zero right here. I know you're feeling that. I'm out of cannon ammo! No! Okay, well that's a little tragic. That's a little tragic. <clears throat> wasted a lot of my cannon ammo at the start on that first P-51. Is he burning? He is burning. Nice. He's dead. Good stuff. Good stuff. I know I critted that guy, but I think for now, he's just taking off. Yeah, there's only two of them left. I'm just gonna go ahead and RTB. And I'll see you guys in the next one if anything happens. Alright, we are here on Poland against what looks to be the Americans. 
And yeah, that's a lot of, oh, and the Russians. All right, so we got the Americans and the Russians. And it looks like it's also an up tier to 5-3. Um, that's not ideal, not ideal at all. But you know, it is what it is. We're gonna try our best. Finally making our way into the battle space here. <laughs> Good lord, I love the Zeros, I really do, but their engines are just so weak. They are a lot of fun, assuming you don't get shot. You know, they're, they're tons of fun that way. Okay, that's a Corsair, that's a B-17, that's a BF-109 G-2. Hmm, I'm tempted to go for the P-47. Looks like a D-25. He could probably just run away from me, dive away, but I'm gonna see if I can't catch him. Let's see if he's paying any attention. It looks like he is. Alright. How's that P-47 looking? That P-47 is looking hurt as well. Oh, well there's a whole lot of them down there down low. And look at how snappy that turn is. That's why you love the Zeros. They're, they're not all that great in terms of engine performance, but good gravy, they'd be snappy in the turns. I could have had that guy. Let's get the yak. Alright, got the yak. Where's that I-185? There he is. Get him, Wyvern. Get him, Wyvern. Oh, man. See, look. We're not going to catch this guy. We are absolutely not catching this guy. But I was able to dance around three enemies with zero problem whatsoever. And that's why the zero is as scary as it is. You're not running away from anybody in this plane, but you damn sure can be a ballerina if you want to. <laughs> All right, there's only two guys left. What kind of ground targets do they have? Light pillboxes. I wonder if the Type 99 Mark 1s can kill a pillbox. We're gonna find out together. Let's go ahead and line up, and of course I'm going to have my MG selected because why not? Just extra firepower? Let's see here. Oh wow, that actually took a lot less ammo than I thought it would. Wow, okay. These actually kind of smack up like pillboxes, holy crap. Alright, well they, they got one guy left and they're about to win, so I guess we can call it GG here in just a second, right? Only got a couple more light pill boxes, but the game is basically over. Hold third place, I'll take it. See you guys in the next one. GG. Alright, we are here on Britain against the Americans, Germans, the Swedes, and there was somebody else that I missed. The French. Intriguing. Let's see if we can't get this J26 off this wyvern here. Alright, let's go ahead and kill our engine so that way he doesn't even hear us coming. That is a dead J26. Alright, let's go back up into the clouds. Let's see if we can't help this LA-7. That was an LA-7, right? Yes, it is indeed an LA-7. Alright. Alright, LA-7 got the F4U-4. Looks like the P-51 is in position to kill him. Alright, looks like we got him. Alright. No, give me back my controls! Give me back controls! Melt. Melt. Die. That guy has no wing. Alright, well, he, yeah, he has no wing. 
All right, come here, come here, BF109. Oh, he's actually playing smart. All right, well, let's go back this way. I still have 88 cannon rounds and 1,100 rounds of machine gun ammo. Oh, yes, what are you doing? Give me my fourth kill. Give me my fourth kill. Come here. Come here, I bet you taste good. Alright, well, that was easy. <laughs> there T34. There we go. Secured ourselves four kills. Only a handful of guys left on their team. Hmm, I can kill light pillboxes. I don't know about medium tanks, but... It's worth a shot, right? Oh, oh, okay. All my bullets hit the corpse of, uh, that other thing that was dead there, I guess. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that was gonna work. <laughs> Alright, well, I may as well just RTB and get moving. Alright, well, I actually didn't RTB, and I only have 420 rounds of machine gun ammo left. So this is gonna be truly interesting. Oh, see? This is why they lose. This is why the Americans lose. Why are you turn fighting with a zero? Yep, yep, see? That hurt, didn't it? Yeah, you're, you're running away. No, none of that. We don't do that here. Why are you running? Why are you running? I kind of butchered that, but you know what I was trying to say. Alright, well, I have no more ammo for real this time. <laughs> I have no more ammo for real. Alright, let's get beneath their flak because I don't want that. Alright, now I actually have to RTB. <laughs> Alright, my dudes, that's going to be it for today's video on the plane that is made of matchsticks, avgas, and fighter pilots' dreams. Man, we didn't die a single time in this plane, and that just goes to show that it, 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 it is pretty busted. I'll admit that. It is a little bit busted, but to be fair, there was a lot of the time where people played to my strengths. They didn't disengage and they turn fight. But every single American, most German, and a good proportion of Russian planes BR for BR with the zero are going to be able to out energy fight, out, you know, outpace it, out accelerate it. The only thing that the zero has on you is maneuverability and once you give it that that's it it's done that's all she wrote because that's its only advantage and it's a very fun plane because people play to its advantages and that's why it's just so high in the trees as well i feel um did very well i'm <laughs> not surprised there but um let me know what you guys think of the zeros in the comments i'm curious to know i want to know what you guys think i always want to hear your guys' input and comments so yeah like i said let me know what you guys think one more time twitch and discord links in the description below in game squadron on screen now for those of you who are interested and i think that's it for today boys i'll see you guys in the next one peace out